So we will begin your journey with analytic geometry with this one. By the way, analytic geometry is basically the fusion between geometry and algebra. As I have mentioned before, sabi ko before, di ba? We will be placing the circle on the Cartesian coordinate system. So, ito na yun. Ito na yung simula nun. So, say for example, we're going to get the distance between these two points. So, how far is this point 3, 1 to 10, 1? Now, pwede mo sabihin sa akin, so, nung dali naman nun, pwede, ano lang, pwede mong bilangin. Well, actually, pwede mong talagang bilangin. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 3, 1 is 7 units away from 10, 1. And to get that, pwede mong tingnan yung first coordinate or yung x coordinates. So, you can just get the absolute value of the difference between the x coordinates. Kasi yung y coordinates niya, pares 1 eh. So, the distance between these two points is basically the absolute value of 10 minus 3, which is equal to 7. Now, how about this one? How far is 3, 4 from 3, negative 2? Well, pwede mo bilangin. So, this is how far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is uh, point 3, 4 and 3, negative 2 are 6 units apart. Uh, dito naman sa case na to, pwede naman kunin yung absolute value ng difference ng mga y-coordinates. So, basically, it's 4 minus minus 2. So, 4 minus minus 2, that's absolute value of 6 or basically 6. Or pwede magkabalik tada, pwede minus 2 minus 4, which is absolute value of minus 6, which is 6. Madali kapag either horizontally or naka-align uh, naka horizontally or naka-align vertically yung mga points. But how about this one? How far is 3, 1 from 8, 6? To determine the distance between 3, 1 and 8, 6, we'll be using our old friend, the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. So, because we have to have, we have to have. Pwede ba yun? Well, kailangan meron tayong right triangle. So, right triangle, we have to connect this one and this one. Oops. Yan. Ibig sabihin, uh, this, is, this is a right triangle, no? So, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. I know how far this one from this point up to this point. We can count that or we can just subtract the x coordinates of 8, 8, 6, and 3, 1. So it's 8 minus 3, so it's 5 units. So this is 5 units. And the height, we can just subtract 6 and 1. Uh, well, anyway, pwede mo palang hanapin muna yung point na to. This point is 8, 1. So how far is this point? Up to this point, that is 8 minus 3, so it's 5. How far is this point to this point? That is 6 minus 1, which is also 5. Well, by the Pythagorean theorem, we know that this particular distance over here, let's call this d, the square of that distance is equal to the square of 5 and another 5. So in that case, that is d squared equals 25 plus 25, where d squared is equal to 2 times 25. So, ginawa kong ganyan kasi alam ko na kukuha ni yung square root. So, d is equal to the positive, positive square root, positive root nito, which is 5 root of 2. Okay, so I actually mentioned Pythagorean theorem. So, gawin natin, papano kunyari, given lang yung ano, given lang yung mga coordinates. Papano tin kukunin yung distance. So, again, paano tinakuha yung 5? Paano tinakuha yung 5 sa kabila? So, anong nangyari dyan? The distance is equal to the square root of, ano nga nangyari doon? Yung una, yung unang 5 na to, that is this 8 minus 3. So, that's 8 minus 3 squared plus, and this, this other 5 is the 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 squared. And that's basically, when you simplify this, that's 5 square root of 2. So, ang gawin natin, gawin natin siyang i-generalize natin. Paano kung meron tayong two points? If you have two points, x sub 1 and y sub 1, that's your first point, and x sub 2, y sub 2, that's your second point. So in this case, parang yung x sub 2, y sub 2, sila yung si 8, 6, siya yung si 8, 6, at si x sub 1, y sub 1, siya yung si 3, 1. So the distance between two points, x sub 1, y sub 1, sundan lang natin tong pattern na nito, that's the square root of, 8, that is y sub 2, y sub 2, minus y sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared. And this is basically your distance formula. Pwede bang magkabaliktad yung y sub 2 minus y sub 1? Yes, pwede siyang magkabaliktad. So you can have some alternative forms here. You can have y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared plus x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared. It will give you the same answer. Or... Pwede rin magkauna yung x. Pwede x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. And of these three formulas, will give you the same distance. Now, why do we want to know the distance formula? 
Um, we want to know the distance formula because we will be using the distance formula to determine the equation of a circle. Well, a circle is defined as the set of points equidistant from a fixed point. So, set of points equidistant from a fixed point. So, we have a point first, a fixed point. This is your center. And then, let's have a fixed distance. So, we're going to use segment with a given length, say, uh, 5. And, and then, your circle, let's trace this. Your circle will be this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in your circle natin. So gagawin natin, we're going to get all those points na equidistant from a fixed point. So to derive the equation of a circle. Say for example, your center is at HK. So normally HK yung ginagamit no. And then let's use x, y to represent those points na equidistant. So, yung distance natin, kailangan fix din siya. So, normally, we call this r. Well, talaga naman r yun, kasi radius. Um, according to the distance formula, r is equal to the square root of, the square root of um, y minus k. Tama? Or let's start with h, with, with, with x. We have x minus h, because this is x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus y sub 2. So, that's y Minus y sub 1, which is k squared. And if you're going to square every everything, then it will become r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And then normally, we just arrange this. Now, yung r squared yun nasa kanan. So therefore, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And this is your, this is the equation of your circle in standard form or the standard equation of a circle. Okay, let's have example number one. Write the standard equation of the circle with center at negative 2, 9 and radius 10. Well, this is very simple. Substitute lang natin lahat to. Um, this is your h and k. Remember, center is, h, is at hk. Radius squared of 10. From the standard equation of the standard equation of a circle, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Let's substitute everyone. We'll get x minus h. Your h is minus 2 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals square root of 10. And then we're going to square that. So we have an x and minus and minus. So it will become x plus 2 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals, and then the square root of 10, if you square that, you'll get 10. So therefore, this is the equation of your circle in standard form centered at negative 2, 9 with radius equal to square root of 10. And for this one, you can try this exercise. Write the standard equation of the circle with center at 0, negative 5, and radius 2. If you know the answer, do not hesitate to comment your answer. Let's have example number 2. Um, write the standard equation of the circle with center at 2, negative 9 that passes through 1, 4. So, in the example, we have radius at we have center. So, direct substitution. Lang. But this time, we don't have radius. So, what do we do? Again, from the standard equation of a circle, we have x plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Gawin lang natin is substitute natin to. Yung center natin, this will be your h and k. Yung point na to, it passes through this point. This is one of one of the points. So this can be uh, used for the x and y so that we can solve for r. Parang ano lang, application lang yun ng distance formula. We're going to find the distance between your center and a point on the circle which will give you the radius. So in this case, let's substitute. We have um, your x is 1, h is 2 squared plus your y is 4 and your k is minus minus 9. So it's minus minus 9. So it will become plus 9 squared equals r squared. 1 minus 2, that's minus 1 squared, so it's positive 1. Plus, 4 plus 9, that's 13 squared. Mm, what's 13 squared? That's 169. Equals r squared, and 170 equals r squared. Hindi mo naman kailangan panghanapin yung r squared because in the equation of, in the standard equation of the circle, naka r squared naman yun. So, substitute lang natin lahat to. So therefore, so therefore, the standard equation of the circle with center at 2, negative 9 is x minus 2 squared plus y plus 9 squared equals square of the radius. We have 170. And for this example, you can try this one. 